To identify what type of reaction we have here with aluminum plus copper 2 sulfate, we need to look at the individual atoms. So let's start out by ignoring these coefficients here in these subscripts and just look what happens with the aluminum and the copper sulfate. So the aluminum, that's going to come in and displace or replace the copper. Essentially, it switches places with the copper. The copper now is just solid copper, and the aluminum here is bonded to the sulfate. That's the aluminum sulfate. So this is a single displacement reaction, sometimes called a single replacement reaction. Let's watch that again. The aluminum comes in, it pushes out the copper, so we have our copper over here, now the aluminum that forms an ionic bond with the sulfate, and now we have the aluminum sulfate. Single displacement reaction. You might ask, why doesn't the copper just come and displace the aluminum? We can look at the activity series of the metals and see why it doesn't do that. Here's copper down here, and here's aluminum. The ones on the top, they're most reactive. The ones on the bottom are the least reactive. So aluminum, that's more reactive than copper. Because the aluminum is more reactive and the copper is less reactive, the copper, it can't replace the aluminum. It's just not reactive enough so these are the products of the reaction. Let's talk about these coefficients and subscripts here for a moment. So when we look at the coefficients, it tells us we have two aluminum atoms and three copper sulfates. So let's put those up here. So here's our two aluminum atoms and then our copper sulfates. We have three. So the aluminums, they'll come in and displace the coppers. Because aluminum has a three plus ionic charge and the coppers have two plus, we only need two aluminums to replace these coppers. So they come in and the coppers are replaced. We have our three coppers on the product side of the equation. The aluminums, they bond with the sulfates. And there's our Al2, SO4, 1, 2, 3, and then our three coppers. We should note aluminum has a three plus charge. It was originally zero and the copper has a zero. It was originally 2 plus. So the aluminum transferred electrons to the copper. That also makes this a reduction oxidation reaction or a redox reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Al plus CuSO4. It's a single replacement reaction. Thanks for watching.